Okay guys, fasten your seat belts and batten down the hatches because we're getting ready to cover the roughest part of Interstate 40 here in Raleigh. Guaranteed to cost you money out of pocket. Cost me over $300 to repair two bent wheels on the van. This isn't so bad here. It gets a lot rougher. I put in numerous requests to DOT to at least make some temporary repairs. Now they're getting ready to redo this whole stretch of road. So maybe they just don't want to waste the time and money. But it's going to take them three years to cover all this road. So I think they owe the public. Now get ready. This is one of them. These uh, potholes are pretty bad. They get some of them filled. And, and right here on the bridges, these ridges, the next couple ridges have some uh, ridges built up right at where the asphalt meets the concrete. There, there's one. That'll kill your wheels. And there is no smooth lane. You can change lanes all day long, you're going to get the same thing. next bridge is just as bad. And this is where I've asked DOT to please just come out here and do some temporary grind it down. That's all I've got to do is grind it down a couple inches and it'll eliminate the problem. But there you have it. And when you want to run that stretch of road a couple times a day, every day, that's going to wear on the car. Now in this construction zone, you'll notice they've uh, created their own potholes. Now they had to grind off the old lane markings when they shifted the lanes, but for some reason I, they thought they had to grind down two, three inches. And it was so bad, uh, after a number of complaints, they came in and you can see where they uh, had to fill the grind spots with asphalt, so that made more unnecessary work. I don't understand why they just didn't couldn't just grind them off lightly and maybe even just you know, paint over them or, or something. But and uh, they filled these spots in. But as we get up here a little further, uh, well, you can see these are not filled in here. But at least we can drive over them. But as we get farther up, uh, they start shifting back and forth, and you can't avoid them. And there's some pretty nasty spots. What makes it bad is uh, I have to cover this stretch of road a couple times a day, going back and forth, picking up patients. So you just can't avoid the wear and tear on the, the vehicle. There we go, here's some nasty bumps. A couple more coming up, hold on. Alright, out of the war zone. 